Increasing your company's security begins with creating a culture of security. Building a corporate foundation of proactive awareness and readiness helps protect your equipment, employees, and data on an ongoing basis. To get started, we've broken corporate security best practices into three stages, including securing your business network of computers, creating dual control safety checks, and continuing employee training. The first step in securing a network computer is dedicating a sole computer that only serves one role. Consider using a standalone computer that isn't connected to your network to perform your online banking transactions. Next, install and maintain real-time antivirus, anti-spyware, firewall, and malware detection and removal software. Take immediate action to verify that any warning messages are valid and not a bogus message to entice you to install a fix, which then installs malware on your system. You will then want to install firewall hardware to prevent unauthorized access to your network. Make sure you create a strong password. Next, have a contingency plan to recover files on your business computers that could be lost due to a catastrophic system or hardware failure. Develop a scheduled weekly or daily plan to back up important business files and secure the backup disks or external hardware drives off-site if possible. Finally, make sure key employees have trained backup personnel with their own IDs and passwords in the event of an absence. Regularly review an active access list and determine any changes to privileges that may be needed. In this next section, we address the importance of dual control safety checks. This is a process that should be set up to help ensure that one person does not have the access authority to perform both payment functions. For example, one person should authorize the creation of the payment file, and a second person should authorize the release of the file from a different computer system. Dual control measures will ensure that one person cannot give themselves additional authority or create a new user ID. Consider enlisting the help of an internet service to automatically block sites that employees do not need to access for business to reduce the risk of downloading malware or spyware. In our third section, we will address the importance of thwarting employee security breaches. Your employees can be an asset for keeping your company safe if they are trained properly. Investing the time to educate employees on cybercrimes and train them to spot security vulnerabilities is the key to your security protection. Periodic training emphasizes the importance you place on meaningful data security practices. No one wants to believe that insider fraud could happen to them, but it is a real threat to your company and your customers' information, accounts, and money. When hiring employees who will have access to sensitive data, you should complete a background check and check references for clues to past history of unacceptable behavior. Ask every new employee to sign an agreement to follow your company's confidentiality and security standards for handling sensitive data. Create a culture of security by implementing a regular schedule of employee training by following these guidelines. To improve your cyber awareness strategy, you should implement some of the following basic best practices. Number one, require all employees who will be administrators or authorized users to take the Comerica Business Connect tutorials. Two, schedule monthly cyber awareness meetings. Three, post reminders in areas where sensitive information is used or is stored. Four, make sure your discussions cover the employees who access sensitive information from home or while off-site. Five, Ensure employees keep financial tokens secure. Six, direct employees to visit sites such as onguardonline.gov for computer security tips. Seven, enroll employees to receive free online awareness information from organizations such as the Federal Trade Commission at www.ftc.gov or the Department of Homeland Security at www.dhs.gov forward slash cybersecurity. In addition to these core safety strategies, you should also consider implementing cybersecurity best practices. Be sensitive to using public internet access points. Despite these being convenient ways to access the internet, they are not secure for conducting your business. 
Have a contingency plan if you believe your computer system has been compromised. Keep the names of key employees and bank contacts in paper form as a standard practice. Have an alternative to internet access and keep a landline phone in case of a disaster. Back up key data on an external hard drive or disk. Create an emergency book of the steps that should be taken if your system has been infected with malware or if there has been a catastrophic system or hardware failure. Monitor all your accounts for any activity that isn't normal for your business. Make sure you and your employees know how and to whom to report any suspicious activity within your company. If you detect suspicious activity, immediately cease all online activity and remove any computer systems that may be compromised from the network. Disconnect the Ethernet cable and any other network connections to help isolate the compromised system from the network and prevent unauthorized access. If an employee leaves your company, be sure to immediately delete their access, secure credentials and tokens, and remove them from all templates and other account authorities. Cyber criminals are constantly figuring out new ways to compromise your personal, business, and financial information. Keep pace with current fraud threats by visiting the following resources.